Hi class, my name is Mohammed Prince and this is my week three discussion post for MPA 540 AE, Public Personnel Management. So my overview, first I'm gonna go over compensation um, and what it is, all that it entails. And then um, I'm gonna go over how it aligns individual and organizational objectives. And then lastly, it's gonna be my closing. So compensation is, um, well, compensation consists of direct and indirect compensation. So there's two different kinds of compensation. Direct is gonna be what you see in your paycheck. Indirect compensation is gonna be basically the external things that the company does for you. Like say, um, this is um, health benefits, holiday pay, overtime, sick time, vacation. Um, these are all a part of the uh, compensation package. Um, retirement, things like that, that's gonna be more indirect. And then um, the direct is gonna be the pay and um, that it, the employee receives from their hours um, that they worked. So aligns individual and organizational objectives. Um, so there's employee goals, departmental goals, organizational goals, and a company's mission statement and how these all align to um, the company's mission. It's um, So pay is aimed in a company to be competitive in that market, um, which inc increases employee retention. The pay structure um, of an organization is made to attract new employees as well as keep um, and retain older employees with the company. Um, it's made to attract new employees, but they have to have uh, annual reviews and raises so that people who are already employed with the company have an incentive to stay with the company long term. So when employees pay offers them enough incentives, they are they're more bought into the organizational objectives. So when their job satisfaction is good and they're satisfied with their pay, they're more bought into the organization's objectives. So now there's also skilled pay. Skilled pay, this is similar to compensating someone extra because they're bilingual, which happens a lot. Um, also uh, education. <clears throat> Employees who are educated with a degree tend to receive more compensation and more competitive pay um, experience, which is seasoned employees with more experience are also compensated for their experience that they bring to the organization. So um, if the company requires someone with experience and a degree, then they have to account for that in their budgeted salary for that position. So that would be a qualified employee. Um, so when they're trying to attract someone like that who have maybe degrees and MBA and MPA and many years of experience, you know, three to five years of experience, a, a candidate like that is gonna cost them a bit more. They're gonna have, need a higher budget. So competitive pay equals job satisfaction and job satisfaction equals less employee turnover. So, that was my presentation, and I just want to say thanks for watching. Look forward to interacting with you guys in the comments.